This is the first fighting game I ever made in Unreal Engine about two and a half years ago. At the time I was attending Game Dev College in Japan and started to apply for programming jobs, but I felt like my portfolio needed one more piece. Obviously I would have loved to make a full-fledged fighting game kind of like Street Fighter Tekken, but I only had about one week left and need to finish this quickly. So I needed to come up with a concept that is a lot more achievable in this short time frame. Instead of looking at traditional fighting games that have very complex systems like combos and meter usage and all these kind of things, I was more taking references from smaller games like Nidhogg, Dive Kick and Footsies that just take one concept of a fighting game and just concentrate on that. I wanted the game to be more about spacing and reading your opponent, so you just concentrate on getting big single hits instead of having to worry about special moves and combos. I also needed a setting for the game, and if you know anything about me, you know that I love big heavy fighters. I played Honda for about 10 years in Street Fighter 4, I played Bayman in Dead or Alive 5, I play Warlord in For Honor, which by the way is such an underrated game, and in Overwatch I exclusively play tanks. So I thought it would be awesome to have the game revolve around these big fighters that like knock each other around and usually have parries and blocks, and that is what led to the name Brawling Heavies. But if you look at the game now, you see that a lot of those things did not come to fruition. In the end, I only had a single character that is a bulky robot from the Paragon assets. At the time, I was still really bad at sourcing good assets and didn't really know like anything about animation retargeting, so I wasn't left with many choices. I quickly realized that I'm super dependent on what animations my character comes with and I need to design the moveset around that instead of the other way around. The robot had a few cool animations like a boost punch and uppercut, so I thought I could make it work, and it is kind of a heavy fighter so it does fit the theme in some way. Eventually I ended up with 5 attacks. The jab is the fastest attack and good for interrupting your opponent. The hook is slightly slower but more powerful. The boost punch moves you forward over a great distance and is good for knocking your opponent away if he's already weakened. The uppercut is very powerful and knocks the opponent upwards, but it's only effective from close range and will leave you wide open if you miss or if you're being parried. And last but not least, there's the double-handed strike. This move is by far the most devastating and knocks your opponent far away horizontally, however it is very slow and can easily be parried. I decided against the inclusion of blocking in this game because it would add a lot of complexity and would take a lot of time to implement. Instead I only added a parry, which also goes with the theme of wanting the game to be read heavy. When you land a successful parry, you will knock back your opponent. The amount of knockback depends on what attack the opponent used. Also, you'll be able to act immediately after, so if the opponent is close, you might be able to get a follow-up attack. Originally, I wanted the stage to span across multiple screens like Nidhogg does. However, in the end, I only had a small plateau like Final Destination and Smash Bros and you just knock each other off. I implemented a buff system as an attempt to give the game more depth, so you can strengthen your fighter by doing certain actions. As an example, if you get a successful parry, you will boost your knockback power for a few seconds. In my case, the system didn't really work out that well, but in recent years there have been some fighting games that managed to pull it off, like Grand Blue Fantasy Versus and also the Dungeon Fighters Online Beta, so I think it's really cool these RPG elements are finding a way into fighting games recently. In the end, the game deviated a lot from my original plan, the biggest issues being that I had very little time to work with. At the time, I was also still not that experienced with Unreal Engine, and that I really need custom models and custom animations to make it work. But I'm still happy with what I was able to achieve in only 50 hours of work. It was still a good learning experience and not a bad portfolio piece. The game can be downloaded on Game Jolt, so I'll leave a link in the description. But there is no AI implementation, so you'll need another player to play with you. Now that I'm much more experienced with Unreal Engine and game development in general, I definitely want to revisit the idea of making a fighting game again, and maybe even stick to my original plan of making Brawling Heavies the game that it should have been. Currently I'm working on a side-scrolling beat-em-up, and these kind of beat-em-ups share many mechanics with fighting games, so a lot of the experience will carry over. If you want to see the progress on that game, make sure to subscribe, and also check out the playlist with the devlogs. Thanks for watching the video until the end, see you in the next one.